This is the Caltech IT Microsoft Dynamics CRM 4.0 sales demonstration where we're going to look predominantly at the, the sales and opportunity management inside Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Um, the place to start it in here is one of our accounts. Now before I come on to actually registering a lead or an opportunity and handling both the pipes, the pipeline and uh, forecasting side of that, what we can do is actually go through and see how we can place key information against an account. Now I've created a new tab along this hop here which is my sales tab which means I can grade an account I can put in their current systems. I can put down exactly what they might have in terms of uh, current systems, integration, etc., data import. And this could be relevant to any business, really, in terms of building up an understanding of, of what the requirements are in a very really easy, manageable format. So rather than writing heaps of text in terms of they have this, they want this, I can go through very quickly whilst on the phone and fill these details in uh, that allow me to build up key information around them. So let's say they are indeed a, a good account and we're going to get an opportunity against them. Well, let's go through and create one of those. So let's go into our Sales tab. And here we have all our current opportunities. Let's create a, a new one of those. And you'll see we've got some red stars here. That means it's a mandatory field. So let's say this is a, a opportunity one. And let's give it a customer. In this case, let's use Northwind Trading, and let's give them a price list. In this case, we're going to use the standard price list. We've just made contact with them, so let's keep it at sales stage, made contact. Uh, these stages, by the way, can be clearly uh, set up by yourselves in terms of what your particular stages are. And we're going to keep it in pounds sterling. We don't need to go into a different currency at this stage, although we can. We've got the option to put a user provided amount against the quotation, uh, sorry, against the opportunity, but in this case, let's keep it system calculated by the products that we're going to enter in a moment. Let's say it's a hot lead, and let's say we think there's a 70% 70 chance of getting this closed by the end of March. So let's save that. And let's put those products against it as we spoke about. If this was a, a Microsoft Action Pack customer, for example, they would already have the licenses, so let's just put some consulting against that as if that was the case. Keep it as a primary unit, and let's say there's five days of work in there. Once that's saved and closed, it's going to bring our amounts and quantities against the opportunity. And we can see now it's put in a revenue against it as well. Uh, we've got the opportunity at this stage to actually assign that to somebody else if we need to. Or we can actually put which lead uh, gave us this opportunity, which source campaign, again, was, was the, um, the source of this. We can enter our competitors against this as well. We can do a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats against each individual opportunity. Uh, and we can also place relationships in terms of who provided this lead, if it was a referral, uh, or who's involved, like external consultants might be influencing the particular opportunity. Um, and we can have separate activities and histories as well, so if we want to look at exactly what calls, opportunities, emails, etc. led up to this close, we can say, yes, it, was, it took two appointments and five calls before we got the business closed. We've also got the opportunity to place a workflow against opportunities. A workflow can be used anywhere in the system uh, as an automated process or, or procedure. Uh, but in this example, we could put a workflow in that said, if, a, uh, if an opportunity is not changed or, or modified or, or touched for five days, then it's immediately escalated up to a, a sales manager for him to, or, her to, or her to uh, actually delve in a, a, and see what's happening or check it. So it really stops anything going through the, the cracks. So let's save that. We'll see now that we've got opportunity one added down here with our closed dates and amounts. And let's say that we got a, a good feel about that and they asked us to send a quotation. Well, what we can do is go through to our quote here, create a new quotation. It'll bring through the details from our opportunity, such as the name, the customer, and also it's created a quote ID. We can add any discounts at this stage and throw it amounts. So we'll obviously need to go through and put some addresses in the due course as well. But once that's saved, we can actually get that out to the customer via a, a quote report if we need to. This will give us a, a very simple out of the box quotation. So once we've got that quotation, we can then send it out as a, a PDF, as a web archive file, whatever the most relevant, so we can get that out to our, our customer. And let's save that now. So what we can do then in terms of managing that pipeline, managing the forecast, we can do a a very sweet uh, Excel integration here if we want to by taking it out to a dynamic pivot table. Let's just load up Excel 2007, though it could be 2003 if, if needs be. Let's open that up. 
And what this does is allow to pick particular fields out of Microsoft CRM, such as the customer, the close date, and the revenue, and actually bring that live data through to Excel so that we can go into our options and, and pivot chart and actually create uh, an up-to-date analysis here in chart form of exactly which customers have got which opportunities against them, the values and the close date. So that's our new one that we entered there against Northwind Trading. Um, we've also got the ability to use SharePoint um, to pass information through to, um, to our Outlook dashboard. So if we go into some of my reports here, I've created a quick sales pipeline analysis report. Again, it's always live because you can see it's being generated as we speak. And that gives me my pipeline in terms of where we are uh, with the stage and also the amounts against those as well. Like a quick snapshot. You see I've left that in dollars to show the, the multi-currency of the system. Uh, I could also get a quick activities report as well of upcoming phone calls or appointments. Uh, anything really that you, you need to get a, a quick snapshot of. We have also got the opportunity to put leads in to the uh, database as well. The advantage of that is that we can actually create a separate area of the, of the CRM database that, that handles just leads. So whether that be an exhibition list, uh, a web import, uh, an unqualified prospect. If somebody hasn't yet shown enough interest to be a prospect in the database, they can be kept separate until due course time that they can actually be promoted to an account or a prospect, which means that you can really, um, really take a separate, separate area for leads that they're not um, overcrossing with your accounts or prospects. Uh, until you've, you've qualified or spoken to them.